that new Star Wars was so badass. I think I'm in love with that Daisy Ridley chick. Oh, you just saw it? It was awesome. Kylo turned into a little bitch at the end, though. Kylo Ren was no Boros. Oh, so you finally saw the fight scene I've been hyping up the last two years? Really? Fucking boots into the, the moon. Man, I was like, how the fuck did you get kicked to the moon? That is ridiculous, man. Is Luna on there? Oh my god, that's the most ridiculous. Yeah, boy, look who he was. And then I was just like, god damn. The fucking animation. Man, I think it's like Tom could whoop Goku's ass. Yeah, and then everything was just. What? Bro, I've been thinking about it, and that serious strike he did was just god tier. We talked about this. Yeah, but you straight up did say he thought he would win. To be honest, guys, all right, I think he would whoop Goku's ass. Dude, the whole premise behind One Punch Man is just the anti shonen by excellence. And regular shonen, the hero has to train consistently to get stronger and fight these incoming threats. Saitama's already trained to the point where he's so OP, the threats have to raise to his standards. The manga doesn't take itself too seriously unless it's with the other heroes. He's the main one who's so OP, it's like a joke for his strength. That's why he's called the One Punch Man, okay? They were making a parody of other heroes that take too long to fight the villains when he can do it in one punch. So when comparing him to anyone in the universe, of course he would fucking win with one punch. He's the one punch man. It's a meta ability. His ability is a joke by the creators. So you agree Goku would get stopped? I didn't say that. You <laughs> kinda are. No, I'm not. Yep, yep, yep. Nope, nope. Look, dude, if you read the manga and webcomic, we still don't know the limits of Saitama's power. He's fucked up all these badasses who the S-Classes couldn't deal with. What makes you think that he has any limit to his power? Let me ask you this. How strong do you think Deep Seeking is? Since he was able to fuck up Geno's, probably Hody Jones level. How about Beef Cake? Um, uh, probably Colossal Titanish. How about Lord Boros himself? Honestly, probably Vegeta during the Saiyan Saga with Cell's regeneration. Now let me ask you this. If Goku was a full-powered Super Saiyan God, or hell, regular Super Saiyan, fighting Dragon Ball, or early DBZ villains, do you think he'd break a sweat? No, not at all. What you getting at? Saitama's never even had a real challenge who's been impressive besides Boros or Garu. Do you think either of them could fuck with Goku? <laughs> fuck no. See, at this point, we're just measuring feats now, and just because One Punch Man has a more creative artist of how to display these feats doesn't necessarily make them more powerful unless you're throwing in that meta ability of Saitama's. But why wouldn't I keep that meta ability? Saitama is the One Punch Man! I know that, but all the feats Saitama has done, Goku can easily do as well! Bullshit, man! Name a feat in One Punch Man you don't think a serious Goku could pull off. Fine, here's two. When he was fighting Genos and left that massive canyon behind him without even trying. And next, when he was fighting Boros and part of the fucking clouds with his punch! What the fuck, yo? And then he freaking jumped from the moon to Earth. Not even Goku could do that so easily, you have to admit that. I'll give you that. I agree that I think that Saitama's more durable. But do you really think that Goku couldn't do that as well? Hell, in Dragon Ball, when he was fighting Nam and Tiam, he jumped ridiculously high. And as an adult, he outclasses that. When he was fighting Vegeta, he was making canyon and shit. And we fought Beerus. Oh my god, you know what he nearly did? He nearly destroyed the fucking universe with three fucking punches. My god, DBZ is so inconsistent with their feats though. I mean, sometimes they can bench a fucking planet and move faster than the speed of light. Other times they can't lift a fucking rock or get to a destination in less than 10 seconds flat. It's ridiculous. That's another point. One Punch Man is made for teenagers and adults. DBZ is primarily for a younger audience, to be honest. <laughs> really? Like when Jero ripped that dude's head off? Or when Cell absorbed that guy? Or hey, remember that time Majin Buu made the entire human race extinct? Half a prisoner legitimately rapes criminals. And what you said is true, but think about it, DBZ is pretty tame when compared to One Punch Man. I mean, just imagine Goku fighting Jason Birder with the intention to kill, and when he decked Jason in the face, his head just fucking exploded. Because he could have killed those two easily if he wanted to. It'd probably be like when Gohan went Super Saiyan 2 and massacred the self Juniors. Yeah, just a lot more graphic if the show wanted to be more adult-based. Goku could freaking destroy people easily if he wanted to. He'd be flying through baddies left and right. Another point, Goku can fly, Saitama cannot. Bruh. Saitama can jump good and is fast, but he ain't flying. He's still agile in the air, though. Like, you saw that when he was fighting Boros, and hell, he's able to keep track of Sonic. <laughs> Another thing, who's faster, Usain Bolt or Bruce Lee? Running or fighting? Exactly! I feel most definitely at this point that Goku is faster in attacking. But that's not to say Saitama couldn't block or, you know, counter, but... Also, Goku can teleport! Yeah, Goku's impressive, no lie, but do you honestly think 
that Goku could tank a full-powered hit from Saitama. Now with that, I don't think so because Goku's not invincible. He's just a strategic martial artist who's only won 97% of the time because he's intelligent with his fighting. But I really doubt he could take a full-powered hit like that. Honestly, I think if Goku was trying to win, you would like have to fly up really high and then just keep blasting and blasting Saitama, but I don't think any of his blasts would have any effect because Saitama tanked the moon landing and Boris blasts pretty easily. If those two met, it would literally be the immovable object meets the unstoppable force. That is a temple scratcher. They want to go see Star Wars again in D-Box? Where the chairs move? Yeah, they're having a Christmas sale on tickets right now at the Egypt Theater down the street. Booyah, let's go! Totes.